So good morning. This is Julie and I's wedding anniversary. So I do have a little bit of a problem because I make Julie breakfast every day, just like I'm doing today. There's really nothing unique or unusual about this. Now, we do something special almost every day also because we're enjoying our life as we travel and there's always some unusual event. So doing something unusual isn't what you would call unusual for us. Now, going out to dinner can be a new romantic experience, but we go out to dinner a lot. But I do have an idea of how you can help make our anniversary something special. So one of you viewers out there might be able to help. Stick around to the end and let me know if you're able to help us out. Big Red, you're looking for breakfast too. I'm sorry, buddy. Breakfast is served. Happy anniversary, honey. Happy anniversary to you. For our 26th wedding anniversary, we're going to take the longest gondola ride in the world. This is in Zlatibor, Serbia, and it just opened up in January of 2021. So this is us, honey. It's been a while. Almost an hour. <laughs> a long line here, and it's hot today. Thank you. And we have some other passengers. Uh, it takes off pretty quick. The gondola boasts that it can take 1,200 passengers per hour. Um, I feel that we're probably only doing a few hundred an hour right now. Most of the gondolas are leaving with four or five or six people in there. And I think that they could probably get 10 or 12 per car. The speed is six meters per second, which breaks out to about 13.4 miles per hour. And it takes 25 minutes to get to the top of Tornik Mountain. It's a nine kilometer long path. That's 5.59 miles. That lake is oh, beautiful. The lakes are pretty. Yeah, they've got a dam down there, it looks like. Mm -hmm. So this looks like some juncture here for a lake stop, I guess. And then it continues on up the hill. If you're new to our channel, Julie and I, we're traveling the world with our two dogs. And we do have I Am Global health insurance on us as we travel around the world. So if you're an expat planning to be an expat, missionary, global citizen, check out the link in the video description for health insurance programs for travelers, short term and long term. And if you can't find that link, send me an email. I'll be glad to send it to you. I do make a commission if you do use this link. So we came to a complete stop. You worried, honey? No, I'm just hot. <laughs> I want some air conditioning or fall. I'm ready for fall. Okay. Well, hopefully we'll get going soon. We're just bouncing around right now. I don't know where you are going. See? Yeah, people who are afraid of heights, this part would really be tough. Yeah. So this was a very hot day. We actually had a lady that was near us that fell out of line due to the heat and the hour long wait to get on the gondola. If you're looking for a quicker route up, there is a ski lift that's running through the summertime and it's less expensive. It's $10 approximately to take the gondola. I believe it's about $3.50 if you want to take the ski lift from the local ski resort. It does require you driving out there though. Nothing like the sound of a tractor to make you feel like you're hanging out with Mother Nature. Mm. Hey, the restaurant's got a beautiful view. Look at that down there. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's gorgeous. You got a mini bar up here. The Visitor Cafe. Looks like some more stuff down this way. So we found a little table here at the Visitor Cafe. Not the best primo seats, but we still have a decent view. We just have to look through some other people. So 
we have a pretty view over here. We hope you're enjoying our videos and please don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to our channel if you want to follow Julian and I and our two dogs as we travel through the world. And please share this video if you think somebody else has an interest. So most expensive cappuccino so far in Serbia uh, at $2.50. But you know, you expect this. You're up way high in Tornik Mountain. And this is a ski area. And uh, I mean, the view is spectacular. So you're just paying for the experience. And that's a $2 bottle of water and a $2 coffee Americano. Some people come up here because of nature. Some come up for the views. Some come up to go hiking. And again, there are spectacular views. That's the best view on the mountain. Another cafe up here, I think it's called K2, but it is uh, not near as crowded. So if you're coming up, just come down the slope a little bit and you'll see K2 Cafe. It's got a whole different vibe. The um, view is totally different. You can see there's people just chilling outside there on the deck. You got more of the forest view out here. We're up here in the crisp, cool mountain air. This is perfect hair brushing weather. See? It got tangled earlier. Perfect place to brush your hair. It's beautiful nature all around. And our hair looks perfect. So I know the line to come here was long and hot and so was the gondola ride, but was it worth it? Yeah, I mean, I would definitely have liked it have been uh, air con and in the uh, thing, but yeah, it's gorgeous. And now the air is so nice and cool and wonderful. I actually wish I had a cabin right here for right now. Yeah, it's really, really comfortable up here. There's probably a good three degrees Celsius, maybe four degrees Celsius, and maybe 10 degree Fahrenheit difference between this elevation and down in Zlatibor, which made it much more comfortable during this summer day. Be prepared for a long wait to get off the mountain and make sure you bring a hat and sunscreen. So I didn't bring a hat up here, but I had to improvise and put my mask on my head because it is sunny and hot. I don't care if I look stupid. I look stupid all the time. If you're watching these videos, you know that. After a long last, we made it on. There was nobody getting off these carts, and so it was hard to get back down off the mountain. There's a lot of round trippers. And we forgot sunscreen today, so you know, we're thrown. Apparently, many of the people getting on later in the day just rode the cart up and rode it back down, which limited the space for people to travel back down the hill, adding to the very long wait. We enjoyed the ride, but we wanted to get back and check on Arya and Katie. It had been a while. We let Arya out. She went straight to play with Red. We started to worry about Red. What's going to happen to him when we leave? This dog did not have enough energy to play when we got there. We've been feeding him, giving him dinner and breakfast. And how you can help us out is if you're in the area, come to Zlatibor, and you need a dog, think about Red. If you want to message us or email us, we'll let you know where Red is located. But we would love to find Red a home for our anniversary. So that's one of the ways that you'd be able to help us out that I mentioned earlier. We're out for a dessert here in downtown Zlatibor, but we've got our cappuccino and our latte to start with. And you can see it's very active out this evening. And we're at uh, Phoenix. We chose to sit outside because it's just beautiful today. So I'm getting a blueberry crumble, has some ice cream and some sort of whipped cream over here. And Julie's got a raspberry lava with a scoop of ice cream and a cappuccino. Wanna try a bite of your lava there, honey? Yeah, and I just wanna say, we aren't sparing expense tonight. It's actually not really cheap. We'll give you the pricing, but it's about probably the same as what we do on dinner. Chocolate and raspberry is one of my favorite things in the world. Wow. So the bowl 
of her ice cream is actually made of chocolate and dark chocolate. It's really good. Here's what mine's looking like, and it's tasting wonderful. It's hot, gooey right out of the oven. Okay, so our bill was 1330 and we have people waiting for our table, so we're getting out quickly. After dinner, we took a stroll around Zlatibar Lake. It's a peaceful area, and there's a great hillside where we let the girls go out and play, the girls being Katie and Arya. And as we watched our dogs, we thought about Big Red and what's going to happen to him, and we decided that this would be the appropriate video to feature him. So we hope that somebody out there is touched about Big Red's story and will think about him if they're in Zlatibor or coming to Zlatibor. Think about giving him a home. Feel free to message us, as I mentioned before, so you can find out where Big Red is located in the Zlatibor area. Now we hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you'll subscribe and follow along. As a reminder, Julie and I, we're traveling the world with our two dogs. We're trying to see what it's like to live places. We're doing the adventures and tourist stuff, but we're also doing the cost of living and trying to share our, our expat life with you. So we hope that you'll give this video a like, subscribe, and follow along. So until next time, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. Come here, Red. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. That's a good boy.